Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very, very interesting question from radical mathematics. We have to evaluate cube root of 1 plus 4 over square root 5 plus 1 plus 68 over square root 5 minus 1. So let's get started by considering cube root equal to x. Now from this equation I can write, our answer should be positive. Now we can consider cubing both sides. So cube root and cube we will cancel from RHS. So I can write x cube will be equal to 1 plus 4 over square root 5 plus 1 plus 68 over square root 5 minus 1. Now I will use rationalization of denominators. So here I will multiply the conjugate of root 5 plus 1. So it is root 5 minus 1. We will multiply in numerator denominator. Here we will be multiplying with root 5 minus 1 conjugate root 5 plus 1. So root 5 plus 1 in the numerator and denominator. Now we have a minus b times a plus b or a plus b times a minus b form in the denominators. So let us write formula a plus b times a minus b. We know that it is equal to a square minus b square. Let's apply. So I can write x cube will be equal to 1 plus 4 times root 5 minus 1 over root 5 a square minus 1 a square plus 68 times root 5 plus 1 over root 5 a square minus 1 a square. Now root 5 a square is 5, 1 a square is 1. So our denominator will be 5 minus 1 which is 4. Now we can cancel numerator 4 and denominator 4. Denominator 4 and numerator 68 by writing over there 17. So I can write x cube will be 1 plus the square root 5 minus 1 plus 17 times the square root 5 plus 1. Now plus and minus 1 we will cancel. So we can write x cube will be equal to root 5 plus 17 times root 5 plus 1. So 17 root 5 plus 17 which will give us 18 root 5 plus 17. Now I will assume y cube which is conjugate of x cube. So we need to write 18 root 5 minus 17. Now we have two equations. Let us subtract second one from first equation. So we will be writing here x cube minus y cube. This will be equal to 18 root 5 minus 18 root 5 that will be over 17 minus of minus 17, 34. Let us say this is equation number 1. Now we can multiply these two also. So here I can write x cube times y cube will be equal to 18 root 5 plus 17 times 18 root 5 minus 17. So a plus b times a minus b we can directly write 18 root 5 whole a square minus 17 whole a square which will give us 324 times 5. 1620 minus 17 a square is 289. This difference will come out 1331 and which is cube of 11. Left hand side we have xy whole cube using exponent laws. Now we will consider cube root both sides. For real xy we will get xy equal to 11. I will call this is equation number 2 and here we have 
इक्वेशन नंबर वन लेट सॉल्व बट बिफोर दैट फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर एन ओलंपियाड एस्पिरेंट और प्लानिंग टू डू प्रिपरेशन फॉर एस ओ एफ क्रेस्ट यूनिकस सिल्वर जोन एसेट इंडियन टैलेंट ओलंपियाड हमिंग बर्ड फ्रॉम ग्रेड टू टू ग्रेड टेन देन ओलंपियाड सक्सेस ऑफर्स यू लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन पी वाई क्यूज टेस्ट एंड मेनी मोर प्लीज चेक आउट द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फॉर फर्दर डिटेल्स एंड यूज रेफरल कोड ज्ञान फिफ्टीन टू गेट फिफ्टीन परसेंट डिस्काउंट लेट्स कम बैक टू अवर प्रॉब्लम so our equations are x cube minus y cube this was 34 x times y this was 11 now i will consider let us say x minus y equal to t and we know the algebraic formula x minus y whole cube this is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3xy times x minus y so x minus y is our consideration t i will write t cube equal to x cube minus y cube 34 minus 3 times xy this is 11 x minus y t i can write t cube will be equal to 34 Minus thirty three t, or we can write t cube plus thirty three t minus thirty four equal to zero. So we have one cubic equation, which we can solve using method of factorization. So let's split thirty three t as I will write t cube minus t plus thirty four t. 34 minus 1 is 33 minus 34 equal to 0 now from first two terms we can take t common out so in bracket we will be having t square minus 1 from last two terms we will take 34 common out so in the bracket we will get t minus 1 equal to 0 now i will use difference of two squares formula here so i will write t times t square minus 1 plus 34 times t minus 1 equal to 0 t times t plus 1 times t minus 1 plus 34 times t minus 1 now t minus 1 is overall common so we will take t minus 1 common in other bracket we will get t times t plus 1 so i can write t times t plus 1 will be t square plus t and then we have 34 equal to 0 so from here i can write either t minus 1 will be 0 or quadratic t square plus t plus 34 will be equal to 0 so from first equation i can conclude t will be equal to 1 and t was our substitution x minus y so i can write x minus y equal to 1 now i will consider our second equation xy equal to 11 and then we will solve this system now we will solve this quadratic equation let's check discriminant only which will be equal to b square minus 4 times ac so b square will be 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 34 i can say 1 minus a bigger number than 1 so i will get discriminant negative once discriminant is negative we are going to get complex solutions so rejected now we have to solve this system x minus y equal to 1 xy equal to 
xy equal to 11. So from first equation I can write y will be equal to x minus 1 which we will apply here. So I can write x times x minus 1 equal to 11 or x square minus x equal to 11 or x square minus x minus 11 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation we can use quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus b. So I will write minus of minus 1 plus minus square root of b square. So minus 1 square minus 4 times a times c which is negative 11 over 2 times 1. So I can write 1 plus minus square root 1 plus 44. So square root 45 over 2. So I will write x equal to 1 plus root 45 over 2. 1 minus root 45 over 2. But we had condition on x. x must be positive. So this is negative value. We will reject and this is going to be our final answer. So I can write our answer x will be equal to square root 45. We can write 3 root 5 plus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself.